the Yamaha Mastercraft jump beam, jump boats now line up to go over the inside ramp and through the wall of fire. Four of the very best boat drivers on the water for you today. And the boys who took those boats up and over and through the wall of fire meet John Schroeder and Michael Tolsma. In the days of the wild, wild west, trick riding was a very popular sport amongst the cowboys. And as an any time celebration, right now we'd like to feature our two finest and fanciest trick riders. Watch as they come sliding from the town square out onto the water. Glitter Gulch's his own Mike Tolsman and Bill Von Olin. Now you probably noticed the water skis that these two are on are only 12 inches long. About the same size as a man's boot. But as they make their turn to the far side of the lake, they come right back in front while all their trick riding is going to be done on those tiny little skis. And the first set of tricks for these two is turning themselves all the way around. 360 turns and right here comes number one. Count along with them to number two. Side by side to three. There's number four. Going strong to number five. And six, 360 turns. 360 degree turns are generally performed on skis over 40 inches in length. I don't forget that these two are on skis only 12 inches long. And on this, their second pass, you watch them come right in front. Turn around backwards, put one foot high in the air. This is the one foot back swan. You know, up to this point, we've seen some mighty fancy trick riding. All those 360s done the one foot back swan. You know, it seems to me that if these two really want to call themselves the best, in the West, why there's still one more trick for them to do. And that is, go over that ramp. On skis that are six times as short as regular jump skis, it'd take six times the courage. They say they can do it, and from the bottom, it's right up and right over. You know, it's hard to imagine the amount of talent it would require to land a pair of 72 inch jump skis after going over a ramp that size. Just imagine the talent required to land a tiny pair of shoe skis. And a fine job of trick riding turned in by these two today. All those 360s, the one foot back swan, and the big jump for Mike Tolsman and Bill Von Olin. Well, look what's wobbling on over. And right now it's back down to earth and back over to the town square for a foot race. An not your ordinary foot race, but the hottest foot race of them all. Right now, let's meet the two boys running in today's race. Each one of these fellas slipping into one ski. They only use that one ski for a short period of time. On the water come Mike Tolsman and Peter Essen. Watch now as they slip outside the wake of the boat. Boat speeds are going to 40 miles an hour, and then it's goodbye water ski. And these two go to their bare feet without any water skis on at all. Through the first corner, right in front, side by side. This is clearly coming from the bottom of these two men's feet. One down and one still hanging on. Well, I guess they're both still in there. Through the last corner and right up the shore, the runners in the hottest foot race of all, Mike Tolsman and Peter Essen. just flips over doing stuff like that. Yes, indeed. Around a foot race at 40 miles an hour. That's some sort of race. Now it's back over to the town square. An exciting part is... Uh-oh. Looks like it's high noon on the town square. Wait a minute, fellas, 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 fellas. Hold on, hold on. Fellas, if you're having an argument here today, why don't you sell it the gentlemanly way? No, not put them up, put them on. Let's uh, let's take it out on the water, jump for it. Jump. Jump, ready, ready. All right, put your ski, no, not like that. Listen to you two bleed dips, long distance jumping over that outside ramp. Now whoever jumps the furthest, that's the winner of the argument. That's fine.
tell you what, these two are slow as molasses in December. I'm feeling they think Taco Bell's a Mexican food company. If you've heard, you better check on all the equipment for these two. Make sure it's safe for them to go out and do this dangerous long distance jumping. Now, Shara, Buford, there's a lot to check on. All right, check on the skis. And a rope. And a boat. And a rope. And holds the boat to the rope with the best and the rest of the buckets. Crabs are not on the bottom. Vance climbs and needs his knees and hits the grip to safety. Helm on the straps, holding him on top of the head. These two boys doing the long distance jumping on that outside ramp. You got that Buford. All right, send them out there. Let's meet them. Our two long distance jumpers, Mike Tolzman and Peter Essa. Now as these two shake hands and go out to fight today's long distance jump competition, you'll notice that each of them is wearing safety equipment that include a light vest and a helmet. They wear that equipment for one very obvious reason, as to protect themselves from any possible injury. As they reach the bottom of the outside ramp and speeds in excess, in excess, to 60 miles an hour, watch the first man up, Pete Essen. Here comes the counter cut, out to the outside, then the number one cut back and he's up and over! An excellent job! Fine effort for the man in the red, Peter Essen! Well, let's see. Post to post, the faster. Why, that must be about 10 feet times 12 of them. Be a jump of about 120 feet. Not too bad of a jump at all. Just a little prop hanging off that rope handle on the end, and uh, otherwise he would have had a dandy looking jump. Well, Mike Tolzman got his work cut out for him if he's going to beat the distance of that jump by Pete Essen. Watch Mike as he takes that same counter cut to the outside. It'll look like he's skiing from the trees. A late weight, then another weight cut back, and he's up. Jump, boys. Got ourselves a tie. The first is a nice hand for a dandy jump for Mike Tolzman. He calls this freestyle jumping. You'll call it plump spectacular as he lines up for the full front flip. All the way around down, hanging on and water skiing right away. Good jump today for the man in the red, Peterson. Michael Tolson is not the type of water skier to be outdone, especially if it's a town celebration. As a matter of fact, Michael Tolson is not the type of water skier to be outdone anywhere in the world. You see, Michael has just returned from a season of tour stops all around the nation in the Coors Light International Freestyle Tournament. You are watching one of the top three freestyle jumpers in the world today. This is Michael Tolson. Inverted front flip, we call it the gator, call it whatever you like, it is exciting to the eye. The difficult part of that jump comes to the fact that Michael loses complete sight of the water. He's only got a split second to spot that water, land those water skis, watch him perform it to perfection. Right now, let's meet them face to face as they come to the back side of the lake, right up the stage today. The man in the red, front flipper, Peter Essex. And the man in the blue, world freestyle jump champion, Michael Tolzman. Well, fellas, that was some mighty fancy jumping out there today. That flip and gainer and all that stuff. And right now, all the towns, folks, including our own, have gathered together. It is a salute to country music in America. And a salute to all of you with the building to the human pyramid on water. In an excellent performance today, two by two, the builders of the human pyramid on water, the townsfolk of Glitter Gulch. Right now, let's meet the stars of today's show. Lisa Jackson and world freestyle jump champion, Mike Tolzman. This is the greatest show on water. The 1986 edition of the great Smoky Mountain Water Circus. <laughs> 